can even do the interview in, in Kidaho if you want. I don't know if Kidaho is good. Now, there's been a question of uh, zoning that has been raised. But actually it has only been raised by um, Oparanya. We are not aware and we are not party to it. We have read and we read. And uh, I think people need to realize that the party patron of DAP is actually a constitutional lawyer. We read and went through the fine print of the agreement that we made. We are going to field candidates on DAP. There is no zoning. There is no mapping and there is no issue of saying that uh, there's going to be polling done by Masinde Moliro University. Since when did Masinde Moliro University become a polling agency? I think that we really need to be serious and we need to stop playing with people. People are not fools. You, cannot, you can fool people sometimes, but you cannot fool people all the time. Kenyans are grown up. I mean, people have gone to school. But that is why we have education. Mwai Kibaki brought free primary education. People can read. And that is why we have free media. Masinde Moliro doing our polling? No. Let Masinde Moliro focus on the science. Let them focus on what they're doing. Let them focus on academics. Let them focus on building. Let them focus on new campuses. Let them focus on coming to Kolomani or going to Navakolo or going to Lorambi. Let them move. Let them build hostels for people. Let them change Kakamega town. That is the change that we want, not polling. Polling, we have polling agencies that are known, that are respected, that are known, that use scientific data. All these things we know. Coming to tell us that when you're Minister of Finance, that if we don't elect your candidate, you are going to deny funding to Kakamega County. My friend, we have read the Constitution. That is why there's civic education. That is why there are town hall meetings. That's why there are barazas. That is why in every village there, are, there is a teacher. Teachers go to school. Students learn. You cannot deny us funding. We will vote who we want to vote for. When we decided we're in Azimio, we decided we're in Azimio. That must be very clear. When you pull our candidates away, or bully them, or block them for getting resources, that's up to you. The people ultimately make the choice. Once your turn is up, your time is done. The other issues are gender. We must see women on the table. This is, this is not a, negoci ne a negotiation. This is just what it is. We're here, we're not moving, we're not going. That is important. And we urge Mata Karua, Mama Mata Karua, Mama Aida Odinga, stand for women. Speak your truth. Act your truth. We want to see it. We want to hear you say it. Mama Charity, Sabina, and all of those of you women in the presidential team, where are you when your women in the, across the country are suffering? When we are bullied by charlatans, by people that, not, that do not believe in democracy, where are you? We are here in the village, right here. We want to see you with Gladys Wanga in Homa Bay. She's being bullied. We want to see you in Nikolomani with Yvonne Hamati. She is being bullied. We want to see you in Samburu with Naisula Lesuda. That is what we want to see. You say you are women leaders, then be women leaders. Speak your truth, act your truth. We want to see actions, not just... just no, it's, it's nice to see you out there. We are very proud. But we want to see the Michelle Obama in each and every one of you. A woman that goes out and stands for every woman.